Hello guys, today we're working on uh, 2019 Ford F-250 uh, I don't know what year it fits the problem but I have a problem with uh, so what I was driving on the highway 65 miles, well, I probably was going 70 and I hit a uh, pothole or something uneven on my highway and it started shaking like hell my steering wheel and the whole car and everything started shaking like I almost crashed myself I mean I almost I don't know I don't want to tell you what I did almost did but man it was scary so I barely slowed down get to the on the side of the curb stopped and that's when it stopped when I was start driving 10 50 miles an hour slow it down it, it disappeared so I guess it's called death wobbling. So I did some research. I went to a dealer, asked them if they have any recalls on this. <clears throat> so they don't have any recalls, but they have, it's called warranty, extension warranty. It's not a recall. Recall is when the federal makes Ford to do it. Warranty is when the uh, Ford decided to change it. So... So what it is, is uh, it's called, I want to do to find out what it's called, it's called d Dumper, dump, Demper, Steering Wing dump, Demper, that's what it's called, and I paid, I paid $132.17, it cost originally $188, ah, uh, they have it in stock obviously because it's on Rico. Well not on Rico. The reason I didn't I pay for it because this vehicle is title branded title and on um, a warranty branded title doesn't cover it. Only if you have a recall <coughs> then we'll cover it. So anyways I bought it and I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna show you how to change it if I know if you need it or not. But so this is the the death, the dumper called. Well, it's basically, it's a shock. And they give you a instruction how to do it. And they have this this thing here. Bracket. I don't think I'm gonna change the bracket, but they have a bracket and they have this this bolt, not bolt. So I'm gonna use just a nut and the bolt this. I'm not gonna use those two uh, for the bracket. I'm not gonna change this bracket. We're gonna go underneath and I'll show you what it is. So it was sitting here. There's a bolt sitting here. This is the bracket I was telling you. I'm not gonna change. I don't think you need it. There's two two bolts. I don't know if you want to change it or not. I'm not gonna do it. My vehicle only have 29, 29 miles, thousand miles. So, so the fifty millimeter was here. I unscrew it with the fifty millimeter, and eighty millimeter is here. I un I unloose it, and you have to give a little hard hit in order to loose it up. It's sitting like this. I mean, in, for, in uh, AutoZone or any other stores, there's a special fork that you put. There's a lip here. You put a fork in here and you hit it with the hammer to the fork. It comes out. Or you can use the ear gun, even easier with the fork. It's faster. But I don't have time to go get it. I hit it with the hammer right here. I know I'm going to change this part, so I didn't care if I'm going to damage it or here careful when you hit it don't break this plastic so do this carefully so I hit it a few times pretty good like four or five times heavy I know when you're under the truck it's harder to hit so it's easier for you if you're gonna lift the truck but I did not so I hit it here a few times hit it here a few times it helps when you hit it in the middle I know it's stupid but if I hit it here it unlooses it all the time it works on the ball joint all the time if you hit it here not at the part itself, but right next to it where it's sitting. So it's loosening up. I'm gonna change this <laughs> dumper, whatever that call is, almost killed myself. 
and I'll show you what it is. So here it is, forks. Uh, this is the old part, this is the new part. And it's funny. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, it's loose. I don't know if you press it, it go up and down. And this one, the new one. Oh my God, I can it. Oh yeah. It's not going anywhere. And my friend told me, he works, used to work at the Ford dealer. He changed thousands of them on the Ford <coughs> for re uh, warranties because this is the issue. But sometimes it didn't fix the problem. It did fix the problem. It doesn't shake as crazy. He said it could be a, a ball joints you gotta change or make alignment on it. But anyway, so I'm gonna change this and see if it's gonna work for me. If it's not gonna be as crazy. I'll be happy because that that was a that was a heck of a ride. So we put this back and uh, I'll get to you. And another thing I want to show you is, so I put this one in here, I didn't tighten it up yet. And like you see, it's not enough. So don't, don't kill yourself, don't pull it. Just go outside or ask somebody to turn the steering wheel a little bit to the right and you'll get to the point. So do not kill yourself trying to pull this yourself just go turn the steering wheel a little bit it should be fine oh yeah so i just turned the steering wheel perfectly fits i'm gonna tighten this up and see how it runs see how she do okay she's in make sure you tighten her up pretty tight 50 millimeter 18 millimeter Nice and neat inside. <laughs> so, it's easy, not hard. The hardest part was for me to, I mean, hit this out. So, there's a fork that you can rent it and put on here. So like I said, I didn't ever change this bracket. You don't need to, I mean, unless it's broken. Or it's, I don't know, if you wanted to, like you have it peaceful mind that you put everything new you can do that so those two bolts that goes in there I have left over they give you a kit and four dealer damper two bolts and a bracket that comes together guys and I did change these bolts I put them new some paint on it so it holds tight it won't unscrew on your on, when you're driving and they put a new knot so yeah I mean you guys pretty sure you can if you go to dealer and you have a clean title they will change it for you but uh if you have my problem I mean or maybe there's an older style uh that could be the first problem that you have or uh all joints known as to the problem for this so stay tuned subscribe please and thumbs up so the more people are gonna see this video god bless